story time about what happened after I got into my car accident last year. So, not last year, damn it, it was 2017, so about two years ago, I was working at this pizza spot. Check out the story time for the pizza spot. Put the, check that story time out so you'll understand what's happening. So, I was working at the pizza spot and I was leaving the pizza spot. When I was leaving the pizza spot, I took my friend to Starbucks. I took my friend to Starbucks. And then when we were leaving Starbucks, I was in a median. Now this is why the accident was my fault because it's a medium, a median, a medium, median. It's in a little, it's a little piece of road in the middle. <laughs> it's a little piece of road in the middle, and you're not supposed to use it as a medium. But this is Atlanta where you do stuff and everybody does stuff. And then if you get in trouble while it does it, then you're really in trouble because you knew you shouldn't have been doing it. But everybody does it, and I did it. And it was double lines on both sides, and I checked my, and I saw a car. But the car was for, you know, it was far enough back for me to go. So I get out, you know, I'm trying to turn onto the road and then boom, I get hit. So I got hit. Okay, so it's my fault and I'm in the wrong spot. Homegirl hops in the car immediately and she calls the police. She's like on it fast. She's running, you know, to look at the sign, tell them where it's at and all this stuff. Then she proceeds um, to... You know, then she, she, she comes over to me, now this is the gag. She comes over to me, she, then she asks if everything's okay. After she done already reported the scene to everybody else, she done already said her piece, she done already been heard, you know what I'm saying? She done already let them know I said something first, so it's not my fault. Then she comes over, she asks if everyone's okay. My car looks a mess, her car has no damage, she's perfectly fine. But my little Dodge Neon, girl, a mess, a mess. My car was messed up. And I was just about to start driving Uber too, so that really, really made me sad. But anyway, I think it was a sign that I wasn't supposed to be driving Uber in LA. So then, um, the cop comes, he questions her first, takes her recant of it, listens to what I say, then says, well, you're at fault. I'm like, great. Now at this time, I don't even think I had like a valid tag on my car. I, I didn't have a valid tag on my car. I still had a paper tag on my car, and I think it was just about to expire. It was just about to expire, hadn't expired yet. Um, but I was waiting on some documents to come through from my ex. Or the anyway, so then uh, I get her insurance card information. Now in Georgia, it is illegal to be driving without insurance. Y'all tell me why this lady insurance was expired. The officer looked at her insurance card, but was so hyped about blaming me, he didn't even give her a ticket for having expired insurance. Honey, that's the gag. But anyway, so in, in Georgia, I don't know if it's just Atlanta, but because of the type of ticket that I got, it was like a $270 ticket, y'all. The ticket was like $270 for a wrongful turning in an improper something or another. I can't really remember. So it was like $200 and something dollars. Um, almost three, almost a $300 ticket. And I had to miss work this day just to go to court. So I get there and there was uh, some type of, you know, different ways that you can contest. So I step in and I had no idea that court was set up to where it's you and a whole bunch of other people. So I'm sitting there <laughs> and I'm like, why is, why are all these people here? I didn't even, I've never done this before. So I had no clue. I was not ready for what went down in the courtroom. I'm sitting down, I sit kind of close to the front. It's a lot of people in there. But I'm like, okay, you know, we'll see what's happening. And I'm looking at the numbers and I'm like, I'm nowhere near close. I was in court for about four and a half hours waiting just to pay my ticket. So while I'm waiting, I am seeing and hearing everybody's business. <laughs> I mean, like, everybody's business. You... <laughs> You can never imagine. I don't and unless you unless you've been through this, then you can't imagine. And if you have been through this, leave your list, leave your story in the comments down below because I want the tea on what you heard when you were there. Because I was sitting in the courtroom like they don't give a damn that we don't know them. <laughs> you just gonna tell all that business. But the one thing that stuck out the most, the one thing that I know, there's two things that I cannot forget and that I got to tell y'all that happened. Girl, so we sitting there, and I say we, cause I guess we friends, not all of us just sitting here together with all our business. I had the street, my titties sagging. So we're sitting there and 
this guy goes up. Now the guy is in court because he has not been paying his child support, right? I don't know who he is, please don't ask. I don't know who this man is, this is just a stranger. Boy, I'm not hitting the gym. Y'all see a girl, look at, ah, ah. look at your girl. Ooh. Anyway, so this, this guy standing up there, he is completely nonchalant. He don't give a damn, okay? He don't give a damn, he don't care. He don't care, he just, he don't care about them little kids, man. Them kids. That man don't care about them kids. He don't care. He ain't paying it. He ain't got no. He straight up told the lady, I ain't paid it. <laughs> I mean, he's just like, I ain't paid it. Now, this was a black judge. She's a black judge with short hair. She did not play the radio. Okay. So she, she, <laughs> she says to him, Do you know how far behind you are in your payments? And he said, Yeah. And she said, You don't even care, do you? It was just like, man you know just completely dismissive he did not care and she said hold up you mean to tell me you've missed how many days in court now apparently from what i was gathering from the information that, that she was talking about because she was telling all this man business apparently homeboy had been summoned to court multiple times this is his first time being in there and he had been summoned a lot I don't know if he had warrants or nothing like that. I don't really remember, but I just remember he was supposed to be in court and he hadn't been coming. He hadn't been paying his court fees either. And I think he was on probation. He wasn't paying for that neither. So he was just not giving a damn. She was fed up. She was fed up. And she told him, she said something to him. And then he said something back. And she told him to be quiet. And then he said something back. And then she said, don't push it. And then he said something back. And then the person behind me, <laughs> said, bruh, just shut up. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> I almost bust out laughing in the I was just sitting there with my bag, like grateful, like, you know what, God, this ticket might be a lot, but <laughs> things could be much worse. Wow. This is embarrassing. And I'm not even up there. I was embarrassed for him. I was so embarrassed for him. I was, I was like, I'm one of them people when like when people perform things or <laughs> you know when little kids get their speeches, when little kids get their speeches and they sing I cry, not because I'm ashamed for them or anything, but because I think it's the cutest thing ever. But whenever I see other people, I didn't turn my air on. I'm getting a little stuffy. I've been trying to save money, so I've been turning all these lights and all that stuff off. You know, this is only on because I'm using it, but when I ain't using it, it's off. So she's the dude behind me says that. And then I heard her say, and he better not say nothing else. And he kissed his teeth. Don't you know she sent that man to jail for 30 days? Just because of this? <laughs> he got 30 days for <laughs> And I was like, wow, that's power. That is power. 30 days? He was like, man, what? And then he, homeboy turned up. 30 days, I'm gonna miss work. I'm gonna lose my job. I'm gonna, I was like, but she did tell you to be quiet. He just over here fighting with the people. Then they sit him down and he just sitting there. Now mind you, they push him down the chair. So he's sitting there like this, you know, he talking junk. Then they tell him, be quiet or she gonna make it longer. And then she said, what he said? Would you like to make that 60 days? And he was like, man. He just sitting there pissed off with his hands behind his back like this. They made this man sit here and listen to everybody else before they took him out. Because apparently they were collecting all the people they were going to take jail. I guess they went to take jail at the same time or whatever. But then he had paperwork and stuff he had to sign. I know that because I was sitting there all day. And I'm going to tell y'all what happened in a minute. Why I was sitting there all day. I was sitting there all day, y'all. All freaking day. I probably was in there for longer than four and a half hours. It was so many people in front of me. I saw then the other the, there was a lot more other stories, but I'm only gonna tell you the ones that I remember that were like very very memorable. So there was this there was this lady, um, you know, a real small petite lady. You know, she looked like a perfect saint. I kid you not, y'all. <laughs> she just looked. Hold on, she looked. Hello. <laughs> and I was like, oh. What did she do? And she was just like, she was crying before the judge said anything to her. She was just like, hello. And then the judge said, and she was, I kid you not, she was talking to her. She said, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. You can cut all that crying out right now. 
Because I'm reading this here file. Look here, look, look, look. Mm hmm. You been drinking? <laughs> she said, mm hmm. You been smoking? She said, you know what? I might even go ahead and order you to go ahead and do me a little test right now. And the girl was like, please, you know. <laughs> and I'm not laughing at that, but I'm laughing because I'm like, I never, I did not think, I wouldn't have thought that. I'm not saying those are bad things, not what I'm saying. But that wasn't the part of the story that got me. The part of the story that got me was she was actually in court for beating somebody up. <laughs> she had beat somebody up so bad. She had to catch a case because of it. And apparently, from what the judge was saying, she beat somebody up in front of her baby. And the baby had to be taken, you know, child to, to child protective services. Then the baby had to be taken to the grandma because she didn't have no other family. Then while the girl was in court for all that time, she lost a job. And that's she was telling the judge, I need my child. And then the judge said, well, you should have thought about that before you was out there fighting. And she said, but I, I know, I know, but my baby, my baby. And then the judge was just like, you wasn't thinking about that little baby when you was out there acting crazy in them streets fighting, wasn't you? And she was just like, but I, hold on, I put the jacket back on. I gotta put the jacket back on everything in character. It's just gonna make everything so different though. It's gonna make everything a different color. And she was like, but I just, I just, but my baby, judge my baby. I just don't want to leave my baby. And the judge was just like, you need to stop all that crying. You know what? Okay. You care so much about your baby. I won't send you to jail. Go ahead and run her a urinary, a urine, a urine sample. She was the last person in there before me. Now, when we walked in there, right, it was at least 30 people in there. Why? I'm sitting there listening to 30 people visit. Why y'all? Then the girl is sitting out now. At this time, a judge looked at me because she forgot about me. Don't you know this lady was sitting there and she said, oh, ma'am, what, what are you doing in here? We're about to go to lunch. I'm like, lunch? Like, it's four o'clock. You mean dinner? It's four. I'm starving. I'm hungry. I'm angry. I'm tired of being in his bad energy. I'm like, just DUIs and abuse and uh, illegal immigrants, it's all kinds of stuff happening right now. It's a lot going on. It's a lot. And I was just stressed from listening to everything. I was just so depressed from hearing all that stuff. Then I go out into the lobby because the judge had me go up there and I did like a no low or something like that. And then I, I let her know, yeah. And she, she said, you know, you gotta pay this fine now. I, while I had to pay for my uh, ticket and stuff, right? So I'm in the lobby, filling out the, the paperwork and stuff to pay for it, um, cause I had to fill out a little bit of paperwork while I was in the courtroom and then I went out of the courtroom. And when you're in that lobby, why do they have everything that's going on inside of the courtroom on an intercom so you can hear it? Y'all, I'm in there waiting because there was a hold on my account. Cause you know, when you have a certain amount of money, basically it was a lot of money in my account at that time. And it was a lot of money in my account. And when I tried to use some of the money, I guess I had reached a limit for that day or something like that. And it wouldn't let me use the money that was in my account. So I had to call the bank and I was like, Hey, can I please get this money? Thank you. It's mine. It was like, Oh, we sorry. We're going to let it go. Here you go. So I, I did that. And I had to hurry up because some people was ready to leave. I had to hurry up. They was about to make me come back another day. I was like, I ain't coming back up here. I'm not coming back up here. I don't know what to come. I don't know what to see y'all again. I don't know what to come back up here. Nah, I, 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 I. Let me go ahead and do this right now. So <laughs> I'm sitting there waiting on the phone with the bank. This little piece of hair. Anyway, this little raggedy piece of hair. Just, just get a life. I'm sitting here waiting on the phone and I hear over the intercom, please, can I just... I just don't want to do it. She said, oh, now you don't want to go ahead and take the test. No, go ahead and take the test. It took my bank forever. I was sitting there for 10 minutes. My bank was on the phone. Then I had to get uh, something something else I had to do too while I was waiting. It was them on the other side. Something took too long. And, I, and it never takes that long, but it took long enough for me to hear this. Why that girl ain't passed that piss test, y'all? The girl didn't pass the test. <laughs> the girl didn't pass the test, and I just heard her say, no! Jail. I can't remember for how long, but she sent her right on to jail. 
And then uh, everything worked out and I was able to pay my money and then I left. <laughs> and I think I went to Wendy's or somewhere, Tasty Spoon, somewhere that day. But yeah, yeah, that <sighs> You know, when things, when, when, when you be in certain situations and you just, you ju it just, they got to change that. I think that's, that's, way too much and i don't forget a face so if i ever saw this girl in public i'd be like that's a girl the mm -hmm. i ain't gonna judge you i'm not gonna judge you because i'm not so i'm not gonna judge but i'm just gonna be like girl if you do that there was a possibility you could get tested don't smoke and then she didn't have any anybody else to watch the baby and i guess the mom was fed up with watching the baby so the baby the little baby had to go to um child protective services or something like that and i'm like oh come on it was just so sad just it was sad and it was just a lot it was just a lot and i would yeah yeah but that is the story time about my day in court if you found this video interesting at all in any capacity please leave a thumbs up what are you doing and if you are new to my channel this is your first time watching me make sure that you hit sorry about that make sure that you hit the subscribe button and when you hit the subscribe button also hit that little bell so you'll be notified every time i make a video and you do want to hit that bell because i do upload very often every monday every wednesday which is today and every friday 8 p.m ish you know i missed my mark the other day i'm a little bit late but i have some fun so yes i'm sorry but i am going to be uploading at least three videos a week to the best of my capacity <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one also can you guys please leave me some video requests in the comments down below like if y'all want me to talk about certain topics if there's videos that you find and you want my commentary on them go ahead and leave them in the comments down below as well as if you go into the description uh box below this video you click that little arrow there's a whole lot of stuff in there links for all my friends and families other blogs channels and stores and things like that go check them out their stuff is great um also my email is down there so you can send all of those videos and things and if there's some trending topic on twitter or whatever and y'all be talking about it and i'll talk about it whatever Ugh, I'll talk about it. But just go ahead and leave it in um in my email. That way I can just have a direct way to, to see it and then respond. If you have any relationship questions or if you want to advise if you're in, in high school and something's going on, or if you need any 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 advice that you may need, just go ahead and do not forget that I'm here. I think I think I, I think I know a little bit about a lot of different stuff. And I might be beneficial to you. I don't know. But just let me help you if I can. But thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.